These seven stocks have increased their dividends for more than 25 years and will put cash in your pocket every single month. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with a dividend stocks list few investors even know about, the Dividend Champions. It's a list of 157 companies with 25 years or more of increasing their dividend payments. That's an increase in the dividends you collect that you can count on every year. Now, the fact that there is no other criteria for being a dividend champion sets it apart from other dividend lists like the Dividend Aristocrats, that popular list of dividend growers. But with over 100 companies, you've got a much bigger group to pick from. Current dividend yields on the dividend champion stocks range from just 0.2% for West Pharmaceutical, ticker WST, all the way up to almost 8% in shares of Walgreens, ticker WBA. The seven stocks I'll highlight are the highest yield dividend champions and some of the best dividend stocks for that constant cash flow. Most investors know about the Dividend Aristocrats because of the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF, that NOBL. It's an investable fund holding all 67 of the aristocrats, stocks in the S&P 500 that have increased their payments for 25 plus years with some hugely popular names like 3M, McDonald's, and ExxonMobil. So both the aristocrats and the champions are companies with over 25 years of increasing payments. The only difference is since the Dividend Aristocrats is a copyrighted trademark of Standard & Poor's, only companies in that S&P 500 index are also aristocrats. That means only 67 companies makes that list versus 157 stocks in the Dividend Champions. And because there's no formal index or ETF tracking the champions, it's difficult to compare the two groups on returns or sector weightings, but I like starting with the champions just because you have that bigger list to pick from. Plus, including those smaller companies outside the S&P 500 means more opportunities for growth. Now, I'll reveal those seven high yield champions next, but we've also looked at the dividend kings in a video I'll link to in the description below. The kings list are those stocks with more than 50 years of increasing payments, the ultimate in cash flow growth. Here, just 49 companies made that list of dividend kings, so check out that video next. And I want to get your input on this as well. Which group do you like best? The dividend champions, the aristocrats, or those dividend kings? Let me know in the comments which do you follow and think pay higher dividends. We're counting up to the highest yielding dividend champions with the first on our list, Consolidated Edison, ticker ED, with its 3.6% yield. Now here, I'm only highlighting dividend stocks with yields above 3% because Below that, it's not much of a dividend if you ask me. There's another reason I wanted to get consolidated on the list though. Utility stocks have been slammed over the last year, falling 15%, the worst performing sector, and underperforming the market by almost 30%. You see, higher interest rates are pulling cash flow investors out of dividend stocks like utilities and into the safety of bonds, so we're seeing these and really all dividend stocks come under pressure. But that's meant utility stocks have fallen to some very attractive valuations. This chart by FactSet shows the forward price to earnings ratio for stocks in each sector with the current PE ratio in dark blue there against a 10 year long term average PE in green. With stocks in the utility sector trading for just 16 times on that price to earnings ratio, it's one of only two sectors trading for less than that long term average. Against its 10 year average of 17.6 times PE ratio, Utility stocks are trading for a 9% discount and pay some great dividend yields. Con Ed delivers electricity to nearly half the state of New York and more than 5 million customers overall with a great history of dividend growth, 49 consecutive years of increasing the payout. The company is aggressively advancing its clean energy goals, targeting 70% of electricity from renewable sources by 2030 with a massive increase in offshore wind and solar. While that kind of a build out is expensive in investment now, it could come through in higher cash flows and dividends in the future. Chevron, ticker CVX, has been one of my most dependable dividend stocks with its 3.7% yield and 11% total annualized return over the last five years. And while Devon Energy and Diamondback have produced higher returns for my portfolio over that period, no other energy company combines the return and the safety like Chevron. Low cost of production and great management across just a huge mix of energy sources gives Chevron the diversification to survive any environment. And that means the shares don't fall apart when oil prices fall. In fact, at over 6% annualized, Chevron has one of the highest dividend growth rates among energy companies over the last five years. And that combined with a share buyback program means cash and price returns for investors. And this company is also investing heavily into offset the future decline in oil demand, growing its renewable hydrogen and carbon capture assets. That could help protect the dividend far longer than some of these other traditional oil companies. Chevron is also prioritizing cash return and usually increases that dividend for the November payment. 
It's also recently raised the buyback program to as high as $20 billion, taking as much as 6% of the shares off the market. Shares are trading for an attractive 12 times price to earnings ratio and a solid dividend yield. And we're just getting started with our dividend stocks list, but picking the right stocks isn't nearly as important as having an investing plan that fits your goals. It's why I created this quick three-step guide to making your investing plan. Within five minutes, you'll be able to create an investing plan that makes your goals the motivation to keep investing and that is customized to your needs. I'll leave the link below in the description. It's totally free, just something I wanted to put together for all you out there in the community. So click through and get your step-by-step -step guide now. Folks, I've seen way too many investors miss out on the opportunity to make their money work for them and it's because they didn't have a plan that fit their needs. So look for that link and get your free customized plan. Back to our list though, and AbbVie, ticker ABBV, has been a longtime favorite of mine with its 4% dividend, but that could be changing. AbbVie is a best-in-class immunology drug company with a solid pipeline in oncology and eye care as well. The company has been able to grow the dividend by 9% a year over the last five and books a 43% payout ratio, but before you get too excited, there is a warning and why I'm a little hesitant on the stock right now. You see, the big worry for AbbVie right now is its patent expiration on Blockbuster Humira. Management is forecasting an 8% drop in sales this year and its third straight year of lower revenue next year on biosimilar drugs from other companies. It's going to be a difficult keeping up the sales growth from new drugs, but that's just the name of the game here in pharmaceuticals. AbbVie does have a best-in-class pipeline with more than 20 indications in phase three or submitted applications. Sales for Scorizzi were up 80% on a year-over-year -year basis last quarter, and Renvoq was up 50%. Now, none of this is going to keep the company from staying on that champions and the dividend aristocrats list, increasing its payments, but investors could be disappointed compared to that 9% growth in the past. By comparison though, investors could see an upside surprise on shares of international business machines, ticker IBM, and its 4.5% dividend. And dividends are the only thing IBM investors have had going for them for more than a decade, with the payout growing by 6% a year over the last 10. The stock price has gone nowhere though, with other tech stocks up 600% since 2009, while IBM has produced a paltry 27% total return over that period. That might actually set the stock up for an upside surprise though. IBM has long been a first mover in artificial intelligence, and the segment is now one of the fastest growing at 11% year over year in the second quarter. The company recently announced a partnership with Salesforce for AI adoption that could see IBM back in growth mode. Analysts are still only expecting 4% sales growth and 5% earnings growth next year, which would be very low if IBM can take any market share in that AI software or consulting. Shares trade for 15 times on a price to earnings basis, a fraction of the cost we see in other AI related stocks. The dividend is a reason enough, but that upside potential means IBM should be on everyone's list of stocks to watch. Three more dividend champions left, including the most popular monthly dividend stock. But first, you know, I've got to send that special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Realty Income, ticker O, is easily the most popular monthly dividend stock, recently celebrating its 121st dividend increase. I recently featured Realty Income in another video on the fastest growing monthly dividend stocks. The retail real estate owner has increased its payout 3.75% a year over the last five and pays a 5.4% yield. Realty Income has over 50 years of operating history and owns nearly 6,000 properties in 49 states, Puerto Rico, and the United Kingdom. Even though 83% of the rental revenue is from the slow-growing retail sector, I'm okay with this one because it's diversified across some of the safer types of retail property like convenience, dollar stores, drug, and grocery. At least terms average nine years, and occupancy has never been below 96% for the properties. Rent growth isn't terrifically strong here at just 1% annualized, but it is consistent and supports that dividend. Now, unfortunately, the stock hasn't been immune from the sell-off in overall real estate stocks, and with only a 4.8% annualized total return over the last five years, I think we're seeing some retail-specific weakness as well, but I do believe once interest rates start coming down next year, we're gonna see better overall returns from this one as well as dividend growth. WP Carry, ticker WC, could be my favorite real estate stock, not just for its 6.5% dividend yield. WPC is a $17 billion REIT with great diversification across property type. In fact, pretty evenly spread across industrial, warehouse, office, and retail space. 
Now, most of the portfolio is in the US, though it does hold just over 35% of its properties in Europe, which gives us some great geographical diversification as well. And that diversification is really why I like WPC as one of my favorite dividend REITs to start a portfolio. Against the other real estate stocks I follow, only WP Carry has that exposure to, to different property types that I believe can really bring the risk down in your portfolio. The company collects over $1.1 billion in annualized base rent and books 98% occupancy over its 131 million square feet. That's across over 1,100 properties. WP Carry has topped expectations for its funds from operations over the last four quarters, reporting an FFO of $5.20 over the last year. So really trading here for about 12 times on that price to FFO basis, which is actually very low compared to its long-term average around 16 times. We're getting to that top dividend champion next, but if you want to see my five favorite dividend aristocrats, don't miss the video linked here. The aristocrats have just as many years increasing their payments and are some of the largest companies in the United States. Now, I've already said that Walgreens is the highest yielding dividend champion with a 7.6% yield, but I'm not quite ready to recommend the shares. With massive store closures, runaway losses on theft and competition, chances are about 50-50 that the company sells its oil or files bankruptcy after axing the CEO this month. Instead, I'm going with second up on the list, Enterprise Product Partners, ticker EPD, with its 7.5% dividend yield. EPD is a fully integrated midstream company, meaning it has exposure to everything between the explorers and the retailers, including 50,000 miles of pipeline, storage, gas processing, and chemicals. It's more diversified than most midstream energy companies and has the financial weight to leverage that size for higher returns. Return on invested capital has remained above 10% even in the worst collapse in oil prices, so you've got a dividend stock you don't have to worry about. Now, dividend growth here hasn't set the world on fire at just over 3% a year over the last five, but the shares have produced a 7.8% annualized return. The company just made the list with its 25th consecutive year of dividend increases and is going to be one to own for a long time. Create an investing plan that fits your goals in less than five minutes with the link below or click on the video to the right for my five favorite dividend aristocrat stocks. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.